So in trying to understand the nature of this radial location, r equals 2 gm over c squared, let's consider, um, let's go back to the line element when we first built this concept. Uh, maybe we can put the speed of light back in there. Uh, we had it equal to 1, but if it's there, it's c squared times d tau squared equals uh, c squared dt squared minus, we had dx squared, uh, I think later we, we flipped the signs, not that it makes a difference. Let's, put, let's go back to the original uh, sign, but now let's do a radial coordinate, so that would be a dr squared, and in fact, it would, we would have r squared d theta squared minus r squared sine squared theta d phi squared. Let's just consider radial motion, so if radial motion... For <clears throat> radial motion, we have uh, a line element, which is c squared d tau squared equals c squared dt squared minus dr squared. And now let's consider what this tells us about light. Right For light, we remember what's one of the first things that we did. Um, we have a zero, right, is c squared dt squared minus, in this case, dr squared. We had dx squared there. And uh, so this gives us uh, a relationship. Uh, this gives us dr by dt. It's a kind of radial speed for light uh, on the space-time diagram. So there, when we had just motion in one dimension, uh, well, first let's derive. It's, we have dr by dt, or rather dr by dt squared um, is equal to c squared. And so dr by dt has two solutions, plus or minus c, right? So this is t, and in this case it's r. If we had x as we did before, that would be x. But what this means is that at every point, light travels on 45-degree lines. Well, when c equals to 1, it's 45-degree lines, right? But plus or minus, so it's that way or that way. At any point, it's the same thing, because everywhere, right, this result doesn't depend on space. You always get the same value. So any point, that's the space-time structure as uh, uh, described by the light cones. It gives a sense of, the, of how space and time are. It's basically space and time is the same everywhere, and so the light cone looks the same everywhere. Okay, so let's do the same thing here in tr as a way of trying to understand this radial coordinate. And so to do that, we would have uh, c squared d tau squared equals uh, c squared times these, uh, the, the metric coefficients, which is 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r in front of the dt squared minus 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r to the minus 1 dr squared, right, for radial motion. <coughs> And then we can say light, right? Let's radial motion for light in the same way as given by this. So we have 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r dt squared minus 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r to the minus 1 dr squared. And again, we can build dr by dt or dr by dt squared. We can take the square root. We'll get two solutions. Uh, but in this case, Right, we bring this to this side, they're both positive, and we divide by the term that's here. So we have, we're basically multiplying both sides by 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r. So we get that this is uh, 1 minus <coughs> 2 uh, gm over c squared r. Um, sorry, c squared here, c squared there. And so, uh, of course, if c is 1, then uh, we get uh, the solutions uh, look like dr by dt is equal to um, plus or minus uh, just this thing, if c is 1, of course. Otherwise, it's uh, c uh, 1 minus 2 gm over c squared r. <coughs> um, sorry, actually, this was, this this ends up being squared. So when we take the square root, then it looks like that, plus or minus, and we take that. 
plus or minus c. So what does this look like? So let's look at in a TR diagram, a radial time uh, diagram, and what we see is that when r is very large, then this term doesn't matter, and uh, we have plus or minus c. So very far away, large values of r, we have the same space-time structure. The light cone looks like that, like 45 degrees in every direction, uh, but that starts to become different. That starts to change as r gets smaller and smaller. Eventually, when r equals 2gm, so r is equal to 2gm over c squared, right? What do we have here? What does the light cone look like? Well, it looks like the solution is plus or minus 1. So, um, uh, sorry, uh, plus or minus, well, uh, c times uh, this is equal to 1. So we have 1 minus 1, 0. <coughs> so dr by dt um, is 0. And so the slope is no longer 45 degrees. It's just a straight line. Uh, the r isn't varying with respect to the t. It's like the speed, the radial speed, goes to zero. So at every point we look, it looks like that. So as we're approaching here, this is getting smaller and smaller. So it's going to zero. And so these light cones, if we drew them here, would have to be smaller than 45 degree lines. Right? They have a radial dependence here. They're getting The light cone is basically closing in on itself. Well, it looks the same as that, but... I'm going to try to make it uh, a little less than zero. I'm failing to do this, but let's make a smaller slope. Something like that, right, indicating that the light cone is basically closing in on itself. The r by t is going to zero. Uh, but we know that when we evaluated the time, we got to, to go from out there down to this point here, right in this radial location, that was finite. So tau, the finite proper time, uh, sorry, the proper time was finite. And so the, something strange seems to be going on. Uh, here we seem to, right, this is getting uh, smaller and smaller. So it's like as you're approaching that location, it takes longer and longer to get there. You're slowing down more and more until eventually you go down to zero. So it looks like it's going to take an infinite amount of time to get to this location. Whereas in some other time, it was finite. So it looks like we have an issue with coordinates. That's the conclusion that we might uh, come to. And we should also notice that in the line element here, um, when r is less than the value that makes this term zero, uh, there's a sign flip. And so when we think of space and time, we think of this thing telling us something about the, the rate at which time passes, this thing telling us something about uh, space, the stretching of space, then the signs, if, they, if the sign flips, then this should be telling us something about space and this should be telling us something about time. And so it looks like we have an issue with the coordinates. What we really want, and this took uh, a while to figure out, are some coordinates that allow us to have a space-time structure that always has 45-degree lines representing the speed of light, um, but that somehow in different locations in space, they are tilted with respect to each other. So that's uh, the, something to look forward to.